after George Washington passed away, Martha would never come in this room again. She moved upstairs on the third floor into a completely different bedchamber, and it was, uh, it was, it's not known whether she ever stepped in here again, but likely not, yeah. This is the window people point to to say George Washington's uh, bedroom is his final resting place. Mm. Think about the ramifications, I know you do, uh, no one has to tell you this, but when he dies, America lost right. their father figure, right? That's right. The father of the country, the general that yeah. brought him through, the man who came out of retirement to leave for eight years and left voluntarily, passes away suddenly. What was it like? It was shocking for the country. It was a period of national mourning. It was an extraordinary moment where the country came together. The country had been riven by partisanship and parties at the time with Jefferson and Adams and their parties fighting it out. And here's the father of the country passing away. And it's an extraordinary moment. Hundreds of eulogies, hundreds of funeral orations, hundreds of parades and, uh, and publications throughout the year, all talking about how Americans need to come together to make sure this great experiment will last. He feared party politics dividing the country. Absolutely, he despised it. He sacrificed for the common good. He tried to get people to agree that, you know, sometimes we can disagree on policies. It doesn't mean uh, that we're enemies of the country, or enemies right. of each other. And that's always a challenge, because even in his own administration, he couldn't keep his own uh, cabinet from fighting. And he was out. Washington. That's right, yeah. yeah, so it's a hard thing to do. Brilliant house. I still think it's brilliant today. Well, thank you for being here. This no is wonderful. problem. All right, let's go. Let's go.